Hey, what's up, guys? This is Jason with RC Offered Racing. Well, I decided it was time to uh, give my my MBX 7R Eco a well uh, needed overhaul, well overdue actually. Um, you know, I kind of do. I, I tend to, you know, just do different sections of the buggy, you know, at different times. What needs work? Um, cause to be real honest, I gotta say it, it's, a, it's a lot of work to, if you're going to do a complete tear down and uh, rebuild. So I, def I definitely, um, you know, it, it drives better and I like the way it drives after all that. It's just a lot of work. So, um, <clears throat> you know, I reused most of the parts. I, I, uh, had some new parts I put on like the front bumper here. That's new. Um, let me go ahead and get the body off here. Buddy of mine give me these uh body clips, which you know I had one come off one time, and the ones i I uh, usually use I have never had any come off, but um you know I don't know if that was just uh you know a strange you know happening or if it was you know something that would likely happen all because they're kind of narrow the uh let me see the little bump there where it goes out to fit around the post. It's not very wide, so, you know, it's kind of like wants to spring off. Whereas, you see, these ones are a little bit wider, which these are the ones I use generally. So, um, I probably will continue using uh, the silver ones. But, um, anyway, you know, these ones definitely look uh, pretty trick, though. I like them. So, anyway. All right, guys. So, let's have a look. Man, I totally tore everything apart. I had the back clip off. I even uh, replaced the uh, the diff box there. I replaced the front diff uh, box. I cleaned out the center uh, CBDs. I need to uh, replace these uh, the center differential out drafts. You know, Pat, that's another thing. Um, a couple days ago, I was at the track driving with this guy, and I noticed my center differential was really hot, like 160 degrees. And, um, so I brought it home and, I had, and that's, you know, what inspired me to want to, um, you know, rebuild it. So, you know, I rebuilt it and put everything back together. I don't know exactly what the problem was. Maybe it was just too tight. Uh, I'm not sure, but, um, everything seems to be working smooth. I, I made sure that the gears are not too tight, which is what I was thinking it might be. But I have ran it pretty hard, uh, the past, you know, three weeks or whatever since I've, you know, since the last time I had it out and changed the bearings and everything. So, I don't know. We'll see how it does after uh, I run it. But um, now that it's so clean, it's like I don't want to run it. Um, I actually have a little issue up here in the front. Th uh, not this one, I'm sorry. This uh, screw right here is stripped out on the head. So, I ha it's been like... When I first got this buggy, I replaced the bearings in the front. So it's been like five, six, or four or five months, something like that. And um, I can tell they're, 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 you know, they're due to be replaced. I just didn't want to deal with it. You know, everything still works good. It, it, you know, there's no bonding. There's no, no serious issues. So it'll probably go another month or two, and I'll have to figure it out. I'd like to try to save this top, um, this you know, top steering plate. But in order to get that out, you know, I'm not really sure how I'd be able to do that. So. All right, well, um, at this last uh, race this past weekend, I picked up, uh, like, there was a guy there who had a, had some hot bodies, D8 nitro buggies, um, that he was all, had a really good offer for, so I, uh, I jumped on it. So I got two uh, nitro D8 hot bodies buggies. Um, actually, I got, got a pretty good bit of stuff there. This is, these are bags of parts for them. I got a whole lot of, uh, you know, the aluminum parts like the C, A, B, C, and D clamps or whatever you call them, D blocks, the, um, the, um, the hinge pin holders essentially. And, um, yeah, he's got a, there's, there's actually, I believe, I think this, I got two chassis. I think this one is the Truggy chassis, the D8. I'm not real sure. I haven't. But I noticed it's, it's a little different than this one, which this is another uh, D8 chassis. I got 
uh, what came with it, two sets of wheels, these Kyo a set of these Kyosha wheels, and then a set of white wheels, one um, like that, or two of them like that, I'm sorry, and then two of them like that, so, you know, um, it came with a whole bunch of wings, it's got eight, about, it came with eight wings, two, it has, it even has two Lexan wings, so I may try that out, um, it has some new parts in here, some front A arms, uh, sh some shock springs. So anyway, it was a really good deal. So I, I uh, picked it up. I'm thinking I'm going to convert this one here, which is the uh, the D8. This one is an at Sushihara edition. You know, they're pretty old, like about 10 years, I think. I'm thinking about maybe just converting them both to uh, electric because, you know, if I can find the kit, they make it, Techno makes a kit that actually has, it comes with the, uh, uh, a different chassis and some in the dog bones and all all the parts to, to take everything off this and put on the other chassis and make it electric so um those are hard to find though they're like 130 140 bucks from what i've been able to tell but everywhere right now it does not have them in stock so i'm definitely going to be converting one to electric and then uh consider i might i might i might you you know Go ahead and get the nitro part, you know, get a nitro motor, some servos and everything, a bump box, and use this until I get this ready, which I was able to scab a few parts um, out of my new hull that will fit on this, like the uh, the drive shafts back here and the um, the uh, axles, uh, or whatever we call them here. So, I got them for all four corners. Um, so yeah, yeah I want to get, you know, I really want to drive, I want to drive a Mugen, you know, so I drive, I love this Mugen, but these hot bodies are pretty solidly built. I know that they are solidly built. They're going to be durable. I know that. I don't think it's going to be quite the performer that my, uh, 7R Eco is, but we'll see, you know, but, um, so yeah, guys, don't forget to, uh, like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Later.